Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm making another video on AMOE Backup, but this time I'm going to do a system backup. Um, I've got Windows 7 as usual and um, this video was made on the 3rd April 2013. It's about quarter to one. Uh, so we'll see how long this takes. It shouldn't take long, uh, but last time I made a clone of my Windows 7 to an external hard disk using uh, a USB docking state uh, dock uh, um, connection that way. Uh, but this didn't uh, that didn't allow me to put a password. But this time you just click on this, and this uh, gives you the option to put a, an encryption password. Uh, so I've already done a, a partition backup earlier. And this time uh, I'm doing a system backup. Um, you can make sure everything is um, clean on your disk and uh, ready for a complete clean backup. Uh, in the utilities, you can make a boot disk. So once the backup is done, if you ever need to restore it, you need to create a boot disk uh, either on your external disk or a CD, DVD, or USB drive, as it says there. It gives you the option to it defaults to Linux, create bootable disk, or Windows PE, and it says choose the emergency boot disk that you're trying to create. And here it says Windows PE bootable disk is suitable for everyone. It provides more flexible and convenient operation than a Linux bootable disk. So I chose that one, and then selected that, and then and then uh, it cre it'll create one. So you click next. And then gives you the option of where you want where you want to uh, store the ISO image. Uh, so points to the CD drive. So you obviously select that, or you can make it uh, on your desk, uh, uh, on your computer, uh, as an export as an ISO file. So I won't do that now. I've already done this. So I'll cancel that. So once you made the boot disk using the Windows P, go to Backup and uh, System Backup. And and then obviously uh, give it a suitable title, task name. I call it. I give it a date really because it's easier. Because I know that's when I did the system backup. Any any changes after that, I know that's an old one, and you can delete them. Right. Uh, this uh, software has been tested and it works. So that's why I'm making this video. And um, step one is the um, C drive, which is what I want to back back up from. And step two is where it's going to be backed up to. So I'll select that, and it's the external Toshiba drive, as you can see, and it's in the appropriate folder. There's the uh, disk backup I did. Oh, don't know why it's not there. Anyway, it's um, it's it, it'll create uh, it'll sl you select the folder, so it's already selected that folder, and I want it to go in there and then um, give it encryption from here select on the encryption tab click on this and give it a password which is makes it all secure do it twice and click OK and that's it and then you just start the process click start and there it goes it starts the initializing process and then it starts moving data and backing up the data uh, you can do it uh, if depending on how big your drive is as I mentioned earlier you can select this to shut the computer after it's finished automatically obviously make sure uh, that the power saving options on your from your computer control panel are set to not turn off uh, to save battery for example on a laptop uh, so switch those off otherwise this is uh, the drives are gonna <laughs> stop working if it's going to take a while. Um, I did mention that in my cloning video. Have a look at that, and it shows you how that's done. Uh, right, so that I'm going to leave it as it is because it's not going to take that long. And I'm going to pause the video when this is uh, just check is going to the. Uh, yep, yeah, there it is, and it started the process. Oh yeah, the 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 other backups there, and it was quite a large one. Uh, so it's a protection device when you couldn't see it earlier. Right, that's let it carry on, and I'll come back when this is uh, almost finished. And that's how simple it is, really. Pause the video.
Right, it's uh, just been <coughs> under an hour and it's almost finished. Yeah, it's finished 100%. And all you do is <coughs> click finish, excuse me, and um, there's your current backup. Now, um, you can look at it from here, and there it is, and it's 81 megabytes, which, and it's encrypted. So if, you, if I were to open this, it would ask. Uh, you can't do it this way. I think you've got to select the program. So, uh, what you basically do is you've you, you've made your CD uh, boot disk from here using that, and then what you do is you shut the uh, computer down. And for whatever reason, if there's a problem on your C drive and you want to restore uh, the system from your backup to the C drive if there was a problem with your C drive and it doesn't boot up or there's a malware or whatever and uh, provided this was a good backup uh, then what you shut your computer down um, obviously dis disconnect the uh, drive I, I normally disconnect the external drive then shut it down and then when you restart the computer uh, select uh, enter the uh, boot disk, put in your boot disk that you made here and then it'll boot up to MOA um, and the whole screen will fill with the with the restore right option it, it won't look like this, it'll be a bigger screen and then all you do is select the path and obviously by this time you connect your external disk um, drive that where you put the backup to and select the path and then um, select your, you know, that one, click op open, and then uh, click next, and then it'll restore your disk. Obviously, you'll ask for your password that you entered, because uh, I entered a password for my system backup. So you select your system backup, enter the password, and then it'll restore um, just under an hour, uh, as long as it took to make the backup. Uh, back to how it was when you made the backup, right? So for uh, this one, and obviously I've made several backups. So if I need to go back to any of those, uh, then there's no point. You obviously keep a couple, and then you can delete them if if you've had a lot of back updates since. And um, if you can't boot up from the C drive and you restart your machine, obviously there's I think some com laptops for computers you need to hit the F12 key so that instead of booting from the hard disk it boots from the CD, or you may have to do that sort the uh, that that through your BIOS, and that's basically it. So um, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like the video and uh, bye for now.